a look at Toil Sports 42 to 1 manifold today for the EP3, which I've got um, eBay 155 quid, so expecting top notch quality. Let's open it up and have a look anyway. And there's a cat again, like always. I'm gonna need scissors, I'll be back. Don't run with scissors. Quite exciting, this. it's the biggest pass I've ever seen in a long time. seen these manifolds go for, well different brands obviously go for like two, three hundred quid, four hundred quid, five hundred quid, six hundred quid new, hundred and fifty five pound, how bad can it be? It's supposed to come with all the gaskets and stuff in it but how bad can they be? It's quite a bloody large box anyway. Get down here so we can have a better look, guys. Right. Wrapped well. Yeah, looks great. There it is. Bent gaskets and some bolts. Bent and all like bloody hell. Should be alright. It's not cracked, is it? No, it I'll be alright. Like, gaskets and bolts as well. And a giant piece of foam padding. The cat will enjoy that, no doubt. Over there. Right. So we know what they are. We don't need to look at them. But this we do. So this is also decat as well. Advert claims around 15 hours power gain. Bloody toy things are nice, isn't it? And there we go. I'll give a close up on all the welds and stuff in a bit. But it feels alright. It doesn't feel too bad. It looks reasonable. Apparently I've read that the flexes are pretty crap in these and people have had to replace them or the other thing was to stiffen the engine mounts up. We can look into that later but there you go. Toyo Sports 4 to 2 to 1 manifold for the EP3. Let's do some close ups. <laughs> So that was the close-ups of the welds and stuff. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm not an expert on welding, far from it. Can't weld at all. It's got a little mark there where it's obviously, yeah, uh, obviously had to get in. And some of them, the, the welds aren't finished the best, as you'd probably expect. But I imagine that it's a cheat because somebody else has done all the work, all the design and all the development on one, and this is just a straight copy. They've just got one, made a jig, and blasted an update cheap. I don't imagine it'll be the greatest of quality of materials. The flange itself doesn't look particularly well cut. Maybe done by a grinder. It wasn't like it was obviously cut properly, but it just doesn't look 
an amazing piece of equipment. But if it works, it works. And that's all that really matters. With a bit of luck, we'll get this fitted tomorrow. I've also got a uh, an M2 centre section and a spoon back box to go on as well. And uh, we'll put it in the dyno before and after as well, just to see the difference. Now, also I was told that I have to purchase one of these, which is a, like a 90 degree elbow for the Lambda. Uh, otherwise it'll bring an ECU light on, it'll be a DCAT because it won't have a map on it yet. So, see how that gets on tomorrow. Um, it'd be nice if it made 10 to 15 horsepower more, sounded a bit beefy, it'd be alright, pretty cool actually. It's a pretty quick car as they are, but everybody likes more power. So, yeah, so, I don't think it looks that bad. £155, brand new. Let's see how long it lasts anyway. Toyo Sport. I used to have one there, intercoolers on my car, so spot on to be honest. Didn't have any bothers with it at all. But we'll see how this gets on.